Hey, it's Ocean and welcome back to my channel. If you know me, you know I love family gameplay. So today I want to show you all some of the best mods for realistic family gameplay in The Sims 4. So the first mod I want to show you is by Adeep Indigo. It is called the Family Activities Mod. And what this mod is going to do is it's going to allow you to take your family out to rabbit hole places and come back with different moodlets or skills. You can go to the aquarium, which I love going to the aquarium with my family, bowling, church services, community garden. We have movies. You can even go to the pumpkin patch, which is my personal favorite because your Sims will actually come back with a pumpkin in their inventory. The mod is split between family, toddler, and youth activities and all the activities are definitely age related so for toddlers you can take them out on a play date you can also have them go to a parent and me class have toddler gym activity hour my favorite is probably the youth activities because your sim children actually have different classes they can take and they actually gain some skills we have martial arts so you could say your kid does martial arts after school let's have mom put this food away that she just made because we will need it later actually and let's just go ahead and head out and do something together as a family today. It's summertime. I think it's pretty cool if they just went and go visit at the zoo. No, Peach didn't come with us. She's at daycare and I'm not sure why that is because I could have sworn I selected her also. But we're at the zoo right now so let's just go ahead and fast forward time really quick. So the family is back and I was sad because poor Peach did not attend the zoo with us. But as you can see here, our sim Alvin says, Alvin thought the zoo was interesting but it also made him sad to see the animals in cages. So he has mixed feelings about the zoo where his wife actually feels like she had a blast Rosemary had a great time at the zoo seeing all the animals was amazing Looks like uh, everyone had a great time except for dad here He kind of feels bad for the animals which is cool because they had mixed feelings So they'll come back with moodlets and sometimes with items if necessary Like I said with the pumpkin patch they'll come back with the pumpkin Similar to this mod is going to be the social activities mod Which was created by little miss sam the social activities is really cool because you can do a non things that you probably don't feel like actually going through a loading screen for like visiting a family member now we don't really have family members in this household right now because i just started a new save it'll pull up your family members that you know um, but what we can do is check out the social activities go to social activities and go to go on a date so rosemary's here obviously so we can go ahead and go on a date with her so they're out on their date right now and that just leaves georgia here because i had to send little little one to the nannies but or daycare the reason why i like both of these in game is because social activities actually offers other activities such as the circus a cooking competition museum of technology a hiking trip. Another thing that's different about the social activities is that you can go on many vacations with your Sims also. You can go on a two-day vacation. You can go alone or take your family with you. This is great for big households where you just want to focus on like three out of the eight Sims you have. So you could send like, you know, mom and dad and the grandparents all on a vacation while the teens stay home with the kids or something. And since Georgia is just here chilling, waiting for her parents to get back, I'm going to have her get some leftovers. Now, unlike the regular interaction that the Sims has where you choose get leftovers, and they literally just choose cake or whatever's in the fridge you can actually choose which leftovers you want so because mom actually made a grand breakfast this morning we can go ahead and grab that and choose the leftovers we want because who wants leftover birthday cake for breakfast you may actually really genuinely want leftover breakfast and speaking of food i'd like to introduce our sponsor hello fresh i know you're thinking ocean why would I want a meal kit like HelloFresh? Well, HelloFresh is perfect for those days when you don't have much time to cook. It's summer here and I've been so busy lately with my family. I love that HelloFresh cuts out the stressful meal planning and prepping so you can get cooking right away. This means you can avoid going to the grocery store and spend more time soaking up the late summer sun. There's even new seasonal recipes from the Taste of Summer series like the Old Bay Shrimp and Sausage Boil, Family Style Grilled Steak Lettuce Wraps, and so much more. I love how you can customize your box by swapping out ingredients like your protein or side for another. You can even add protein to vegetarian meals, which means you get more choices and your meal kit feels personalized and tailored to you. With step-by-step -step recipes, HelloFresh makes cooking enjoyable and stress-free. Most of the meals are ready in 30 minutes or less, which gives you more time to relax and spend time with family and friends. So if you'd like to check out HelloFresh, use my link or go to HelloFresh.com and use code POGOCEANOG16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes plus three surprise gifts. And once you click, my description will live update to count up the purchases. Thank you so much HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. 
and let's get back to it. So mom and dad are back from their date and the next couple mods are actually going to be by Little Miss Sam. And I think this one is so relevant to talk about right now. It's the Soul Soul Weather app. So this app is so key for those moments where you visited Willow Creek or Brindleton Bay because you wanted to have a fun park day and it was raining there. You can actually check the weather because hello, even though Seasons is a great pack and we can check the weather on the TV, we actually don't get a response back. So I have all of the worlds and yes, it's been updated for the recent pack. At Copperdale. So Copperdale right now is having a heat wave warning. And if you want to see if that's really true, let's just go and travel there. And it is correct. There is indeed a heat wave in Copperdale. It looks beautiful, by the way. So it is correct, which saves you the trouble of going through a loading screen. And if you don't have a mod to adjust the weather like I do, this is helpful for you because hello, you don't have to sit through a loading screen and find out that it's raining at the park. And one more thing about the social weather app you can place the worlds that you want in your mods folder so i don't have any of the occult worlds like glimmerbrook or forgotten hollow um, i don't have those in here i only have the worlds that i know i visit so that i can just quickly check the weather there it is getting late and baby girl actually needs to head upstairs and go to bed <laughs> and the next mod i want to show you is the sleep in mod it is so clutch and comes in handy because most of the times when sims go to bed they wake up at literally two or three o'clock in the morning for whatever reason why i have no idea everyone is sleeping and baby girl should stay asleep until she has school in the following morning so i'm gonna see what time they wake up oh man she woke up because she had to use the bathroom <laughs> so this completely defeated the purpose no one else has woken up i cheated her needs up again so for the most part they all stayed asleep dad did wake up around like four ish because his bladder was also low so it's really cool because they will sleep in mom and peach slept the whole entire night that i put them to bed the next mod i want to show you is the choice Wars mod by little miss sam so in the sims 4 parenthood it came with this little bulletin board here where you can write a note create a drawing and set curfew with the chores mod you can actually add a cleaning schedule for your kids so it says add cleaning schedule for so honestly no one is safe you can add a cleaning schedule for uh your hubby you know make him do some things but i'm gonna give georgia just one chore i'll have her do this on mondays i'm just saying monday Mondays only because it's like you know she comes home from school Mondays and Saturdays all right let's just say she does chores and Wednesday let's just do that and you can choose the time of which she does the chores say three to four around this time if there's anything that needs to be done like the trash needs to be taken out dishes need to be washed if your sim sees that they will go ahead and do it they'll take care of it around that time but if nothing needs to be done then there's nothing for them to do so if you click on chores again you can move the cleaning schedule or you can go ahead and add a cleaning schedule again but i love this while we wait for everyone to get back home i do want to show you another way that i make family gameplay realistic that is with this homemaker trait by similarity it says those with the homemaker trait prefer to stay at home and raise families they learn parenting and home related skills quickly and easily but are not well suited for any careers I love this because I'm like a homemaker at heart. I love being a stay-at-home mom and I just love that in doing so they learn parenting faster and home-related skills probably like cooking and stuff like that more faster than the average sim. Another thing that I find helpful for my sims is this new living life aspiration created by Midnight Tech. It says maybe you don't want to just find love or just make money. You want to see what life truly has to offer, experience everything and have fun doing it. This aspiration is perfect, especially because sometimes I don't even know what to choose for my sims aspiration because they're all just like tired and redundant and just not really, they don't align with my sims lifetime goals. So it's cool because it starts off with starting out. You find a job, make some friends, make a best friend, go on a date, learn how to cook, earn a stable income, settling down down you know get engaged living life get married start a family just that typical life you know and at the very end retire and just enjoy your life i love it it's simple because you'll end up doing these things if you choose to anyway and it's nice to feel like you accomplish an aspiration without it feeling forced moving on i think another cool mod that i want to show you next is the invite any toddler to a play date mod by similarity so on the social tab of your sims phone because i did have to literally struggle and find this because i'm not used to the phone you plan a social event if you have the sims for a toddler stuff pack you already have the ability to have play dates with toddlers but here's a toddler play date it costs a hundred dollars like you have to set it all up it's a whole thing now normally 
let me just go over here let's have the host as mom the host toddler peach when you go to guest toddlers you literally cannot choose any one that you don't know it's so unfair because we don't know any toddlers that's the whole point of having a play date sometimes right so this mod is going to allow you to still have a toddler event even if you don't know any toddlers it's going to pull some up here so <laughs> i'm playing in a brand new save right now and i guess these are the only toddlers showing up so i'm going to choose evie and nani and so yeah you could just go ahead and have a play date now i might as well just have it here it's the residence i don't feel like leaving the lot per se okay so the toddler play date is starting are you guys here yet because i don't know <gasps> yeah I love it and how cute is this she's literally making friends and because we have friends over I think I definitely want to make sure we make something yummy for them I always vouch for this mod it's one of my favorites I love food mods I have videos on this and another mod similar to it but this is granny's cookbook by little Bo Bub. comes in several different swatches I'm just gonna choose the classic and long story short you click on it you don't have to install anything else but the recipes you want and mind you the recipes that you choose you have to have the appropriate cooking skill to see it up here if you installed it correctly if your sim does not have a level four cooking skill you won't see oxtail and rice peas show up okay so just make sure they have the cooking skill needed for what you're trying to get them to make i'm gonna go to snacks and i'm gonna make some potato smiley faces yeah that's what i'm gonna do make it a party size we're gonna make some potato smiley faces i highly recommend this mod again i'm just blowing over it but all of the recipes i highly recommend they're just so nice it's so easy to make them and you just have to download the recipes you want in the main mod and it's so easy to use because you can cook from this book so it doesn't get confused with the recipes from the refrigerator and the oven and you know what since we have evie delgado here i think i'm gonna go ahead and show the next mod which is the let friends age up this is key if you love legacies you have legacy like gameplay and you want your sims to all kind of stay in the same age group especially if they're friends so i have my sim baking a birthday cake because we are going to age up evie delgado right here at the house without going into her household so we have the cake our daughter's doing her chores which is amazing and so let's click on the cake and here you see this option that says age up now you can age up the children in your on your lot you can age up the young adults or the toddlers and we're going to click toddlers it pulls up every toddler up here so if we wanted uh all the toddlers to be children then that's what we could do but this is so helpful because say i want evie to actually be george's best friend and then nani can be peach's best friend so both of my girls have friends their age i click on evie and let me just focus the camera on evie for a second and here you go she ages up it's no big deal it's not like it's a birthday party but it just literally in game ages her up and you can age up as many sims as you like to on this lot i love that you know you could be aging up your sims and in the middle of their birthday parties you could just age up the other sims as well the next mod i want to talk about is a new after school activity created by midnight tech i really like this one we won't have to play it in full but i just want to show it off to you really quick it's the gardening club after school activity being that kids can now garden without a mod in the sims 4 this is so fun kids will learn about planting maintenance compositing bugs and more with this after school activity so right now she's a seedling and her next promotion is a dandelion has these cute little flower names gardening is a mental skill so if your sim has a good logic skill or if they're focused it really benefits them while they're gardening this would be the perfect time for me to introduce to you one of the biggest mods in the sims 4 right now the relationship and pregnancy overhaul also known as woohoo and wellness mod created by loompy now is literally one of the biggest game changers in this game if you take a look at rosemary's traits she has one that you may not be familiar with it says would be happy to have a child that is because with this mod i am able to actually define her pregnancy wishes or preferences i mean sorry obviously rosemary would be happy to have a child because she is a family oriented sim so i'm gonna leave her preference the same but i could choose you know maybe she's neutral in regarding having children or doesn't want a child right now because she's fine with her two girls or i could just let fate and time decide on the sims um, wishes and preferences but i'm gonna keep it the same and if we go to alvin he's also happy to have a child as well 
He's also a family-oriented sim. I want to actually check out the website for the mod just in case you're new to it or you just want further explanation for it. The mod itself actually comes with different modules and I don't have every single one. I only choose the ones that I want in my game. I have module one, which is where your pregnancy preferences come in and their reactions to it. I do have module two. Um, every sim actually has an individual fertility rate, so you're not always just going to get pregnant automatically. This also includes birth control and you also have to use protection uh, if you want to avoid pregnancy. I also have module four, which is paternity testing. So your sims can discover who's actually the father of their child, if there was cheating involved. I also have module seven, which is cheating and being faithful. And the reason why I have this one is because your sims can actually give a reason reason on why they cheated and thus also playing a role on the paternity testing mod uh, module here. I have module eight alternative pregnancy because I love the fact that I can have my sims use an alternate way to uh, have children. Module nine I also have as well because it gives an adoption overhaul where you actually have to discuss uh, this adoption with your partner and other things like that, different criterias from the adoption agencies. I also have module 10, which is temporary and permanent separations. This is so hot because you can actually select custody. Who's gonna have custody in regards to the children? You can take a little temporary separation where you guys just give each other space. Um, I've used this before, it's super awesome. There are a couple add-ons for this mod and the only one I use right now is the add-on to which is pregnancy side effects it brings mood swings and cravings and back pain and just realistic reactions or symptoms you know of pregnancy for your sims and this is the download page for the mod please take the time to read some of this stuff because the mod uh, the creator actually includes a lot of information about the mod answers any questions updates this mod quite frequently and i'm showing you all this just so that you're aware but i'm just showing you how it looks because it might be overwhelming for people new to mods but where it says core do not delete this is the base of the mod so do not delete it and yeah you just pick and choose whatever you you know want or whatever you don't want so you don't have to have everything from this mod you just choose the other modules you like the woohoo and wellness mod is literally such a huge mod and i'm gonna keep it pg i'm gonna have her ask him you know what do you think about having children but what do you think about adopting actually so he would like to have children but let's discuss adopting a child but you can also put your child up for adoption which is still realistic if that was the scenario or the storyline you were trying to go for um again i'm just telling you what you can do so don't go in my comments like oh my god are you for that the creator wanted to give you those storytelling options and it is real life i'm sorry to break it to you adoption rosemary asked alvin whether he would agree to adopting a child rosemary wants to look at adoption procedures to expand the family why not the more the merrier bad idea for now so because she asked him he's going to answer and say why not the more the merrier all right let's look into it and she's so happy about that she's so incredibly happy now if you go to pregnancy and family and you go to alternative pregnancies you can also discuss carrying a baby for another you can be a surrogate you can also have a baby through a surrogate or discuss or discuss us um, opting for artificial insemination being that he agrees with the adoption you're going to go ahead and click on your sim and then when you click on pregnancy and family go to adoption and you can fill an online adoption application out now this is amazing because it's realistic you can't just go and call up and say hey i want the next three kids that come in no let's just go to the sim world agency the application process includes a home visit from an adoption agent, the requirement of the visit can be waived for a fee. So you can skip the visit for a fee because again, some people may not wanna play through this, but just realistic, you, realistically, you may want to actually like have that experience. And I love this. It makes me feel like we're not just adopting kids randomly and they're just going anywhere, you know? Like we're really truthfully setting up a home. But we won't go super far into it. Of course, we get the mood buff to match. She's excited to adopt. And also it says they received our application. They'll review it as soon as possible. And then one of the agents will come by and um, and visit us promptly. It is now time. It says, here comes the adoption agent ready to assess Rosemary and her home. And there's this little event now. It's a much better process in adopting than how it originally is in The Sims 4. This truly deserves its own video. But as you can see, if we click on the adoption agent, we actually have another option called adoption application. We can talk about friends and network, <laughs> attempt to bribe, which we're not going to do. We went ahead and finished up with the adoption agent and we'll expect a decision in the mail within a day or two. So there is some time, there's a process and I really, really, really 
I appreciate that. Um, the last mod I actually want to show you is going to be something pretty fun and something I really think is going to add to your gameplay. It is called the Summer Camp by a Deep Indigo. So if you click on a kid or a teen, you can go to the phone or the computer and choose school. I'm going to go to it from the phone because I think it looks super cute. And you can sign up for Summer Camp. Pause. Because in order to sign up for Summer Camp, I will warn you, it has to be the summer season in your game. So if you're in fall, you won't see that option come up to sign up for summer camp because it is summer camp. It's pretty realistic. It is summer right now. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Sign up for camp. And there's so many camps, academic enrichment, art, band, gymnastics, language, leadership space, sports, STEM, theater, wilderness is so cool. I'm going to have her do sports camp. And because of this, your sim will quit the grade school career so that they're only in sports camp. So it really feels like they're having a summer break and they're in sports camp. And she is now registered for camp. So because she's in sports camp, she'll actually also build skills this way. So camp for Georgia starts in about an hour. She's going to brush her teeth and get ready. And I'm just super excited to see her, like, enjoy herself with camp and stuff. Now she's off to camp. I hope you have fun. And it's so good because they just go on this little rabbit hole thing for, like, 12 hours. Oh, it says some time has passed. The decision letter regarding Rosemary's adoption application will certainly be in the mail the next time the mail carrier stops by. Read adoption application decision letter. After having reviewed your application and considering the notes taken by our agent during your home visit, we have decided to accept your application. You qualified to adopt one child. And if we go to adoption again by clicking on our sim, we can go finalize and complete adoption process. I am going to adopt a look at look at everyone that needs a home it breaks my heart because it just it just does it's a sensitive topic for me but i'm gonna adopt elise who is a teenager um that i feel like oh i have to go get her so let me just send baby girl to daycare because i have to actually pick her up and adopt and finish this out but i adopted a teen this time around because well, you know why am i getting into storytelling because this is just a mod review why am i Yay, Rosemary Bardot is bringing home a new family member. We're going to keep her name the same. I feel weird changing her name. She's, <laughs> you know, um, but now, yay, we're so excited. Okay, welcome home. Welcome home. This just takes family gameplay to the next level. This is what makes it realistic. This is what makes it wholesome. Our heart is full. It says adopted daughter and daughter as our relationship because even though she's adopted she is our daughter but just to show you know she is adopted and this makes my heart go boom i feel like in this short amount of time like we've already seen how impactful these mods are and how truly amazing they are so i hope you check them out links will be in the description down below please check it out support these modders they are doing amazing things and our community is just amazing but i hope you all enjoyed this if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe just keep simming always 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 stay wavy and i will see you in the next video Alrighty, peace out